Earlier this year, I received the new Vericam LT camera from Panasonic. At first glance, I could see that it was smaller in size compared to the Vericam 35. I wanted to really get my time on the camera and decided to take it to India's Wild West. Rajasthan. Extremely cold in the mornings, hot and dusty during the day. This is exactly the kind of weather that could really test out the camera. So off I went on a train journey, documenting life along the way. I love shooting into the sun a lot. Even though I mostly had Canon EF lenses, I loved the way the highlights rolled off, didn't create any hard edges, and the sun flares came out beautiful. You've got to love working with 14 stops of dynamic range in V-Log on the camera. Filming people is always a challenge, especially when you're dealing with a lot of different skin tones. I shot this segment mostly on V-Log, knowing that we would have time to do some color grading later on. Most of the people shots were filmed with the 24-70 Canon EF lens, Using the Vericam and filming off speed, I love gently rolling the camera around my subject. It really gives a sense of character building. The vibrant colors of Rajasthan were really brought to life through the camera. The skin tones remained absolutely natural, even went next to strong colors such as white and red. It wasn't just for people that I traveled across to this state. Rajasthan is India's wild west and it's an incredible state to visit in order to see some of India's most iconic species. But even in the best of places, finding wildlife can always be a challenge. Leopards with their amazing camouflage can be incredibly tough to find and film. After waiting, watching, waiting and watching for three days we got a three second shot of a leopard disappearing into its habitat another one of rajasthan's incredible natural spectacles is the annual migration of the smallest crane in the world the Demoiso thing. Over 20,000 birds here right now. They've come here from beyond the Himalayas, from the north, flown across the mountains to winter in this little village of Kichen in western Rajasthan. The last part of my journey was to film the tiger, India's national animal and a central character for many of my documentaries. We're in the midst of Ranthambhor National Park in Rajasthan. This is one of the best places in the world to look for tigers. One of the biggest advantages of the Vericam LT is its ability to film in very low light. For documentary and wildlife filmmaking, this is one huge advantage. The Vericam LT has two native ISO settings, 800 and 5000. This means the Vericam achieves very high sensitivity while maintaining a very low noise level, even at 5000 ISO. This functionality is revolutionary for low light shooting. It's currently the only camera along with the Vericam 35 to have this technology built in 
and to be able to record in fairly low light conditions. And this is also the time when wildlife is most active. I've had a great fun time recording with the new Panasonic Vericam. Uh, I'm going to miss it while it's gone. We've put it through its paces. We've taken it from the rainforests of Rwanda in Africa all the way to the dry, hot forests of India. And the camera has performed incredibly well. It's a very quick and easy camera to use. And it just keeps going. <laughs>